uh, in my family, we don't really usually do cultural artifacts. Um, my parents are both, both born in Mexico and they came from really poor families, so we don't really have the resources to like give them artifacts, but what we do pass down are um, our traditions and religion. And uh, my mom luckily gave me a little bit of like everything. She gave me in one artifact, it's culture, tradition, and um, culture, religion, and tradition, I feel, because it's a necklace of the Virgin Mary, and I'll pass it around, but like, be careful because it's small and fragile. <laughs> Uh, it was given to me in my baptism, and it's, uh, in case no one know, or someone doesn't know, baptism is when you're pretty much entered into the church, you become a member of the church, and uh, uh, for me it was the Catholic Church, and it was, it's a big part of our culture, I feel, um, our Mexican culture, to be part of the Catholic Church. Uh, I did some research and about 88% of all Mexicans are um, part of the Catholic Church. And the necklace is usually given in a baptism as a like, as protection. It's like a way of your parents like saying like, oh here is, um, well it's either a cross or a Virgin Mary and she's there like to protect you in case your parents aren't there. And it's special to me because it was also given to my mother on her baptism, so it's old, and she passed it down to me. And I think it's really meaningful because my mom was one out of 11 children, and um, it's a golden necklace, and since they were really poor, it's like meaningful, they are so committed to their religion, and they, they found out how to get her a golden necklace even though they are very poor. And, um, Oh, and it's special to me because I'm one out of four children, so my mom could have given it to either my sisters or my brother, and she just decided to give it to me. Even though um, typically it's given, uh, a Virgin Mary is given to women because crosses are usually given to the boys, but it's, it's not a rule, but it's how we usually do it in our family. And um, I want to continue this tradition, and I want to give uh, my, I want to give my first girl that same necklace. If I can, if I don't have a girl, then I just give it to my boy, and then he can give it to his girl, and I don't know, eventually we'll, do, we'll figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it, I think I want to continue the tradition because it's very, mean, it's very meaningful to my family to, for us to continue traditions. And I think it's very meaningful for me as well because I feel as though traditions bring families together and um, they help you remember where you came from and and yeah, traditions are something I would love to continue giving on to my children.